tonight. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. And tonight, we'll see the Houston Rockets as they go up against the New Orleans Pelicans. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. We take a look at the Pelicans. This season has been a struggle for them. They're down at the bottom of the conference. And of course, the Rockets. And they're down four spots from them. Yeah, right now, though, the Rockets, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. Yeah, and it's too bad, really unfortunate, because I did think the potential was there. But at this stage, I think we've seen their best, and it's not going to be good enough this season. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, Kevin, thank you. And Kevin Porter Jr. has a new start with the Rockets. His game has been compared to James Harden's. Porter said, being a lefty, creating off the dribble, that extra swag with the step back, I couldn't ask for a better comparison. Honestly, he's unguardable. And Porter Jr. should know, guys, he's the youngest ever to drop a 50-point double-double with assists. That was an impressive performance. David, thank you for that story. And the travel in the NBA, just exhausting, Clark. It's just incredible how many miles these teams rack up, how many miles these players fly. Yeah, you're exactly right, Kevin. And charter flights certainly help. But, man, I tell you, the season is seven months long, and you're on planes probably 60% of that time. Whether you're going back and forth from a home road trip, whatever, it's uh, a lot of wear and tear, but it is part of the business, and guys do learn how to adjust and be ready to do their jobs at a high level in spite of it. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, Jones is out there with Ingram. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then it's Josh Hart, and it's Graham in at the point guard position. And for Houston, out on the perimeter, Green and Gordon. Wood out there with Jay Sean Tate, and it's Porter in at the one spot. Now here's Hart after Eric Gordon's miss. And Valanciunas kicks to Hart. And he's good on the Josh three ball. Hart. Hart's three got points. the first three points of the night up on the board for the Pelicans. Porter against Graham. Tate the pass to Gordon. Driving in. Wood trying to free himself up. And it's Gordon missing. Jones in the post. Tate covering. Jones kicks to Green. Over to the wing. Here's Hart. Feeds it to Valanciunas. It's stolen by Green. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That is his first foul of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Outside, Green. Three misses to start the game. Still trying to break the seal on that hoop. And a missed layup. Now, here's Hart. Tate covering. Unloads from 13. Hart, no good. That's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. One area where Wood does a lot of the damage is in the screen game. Yeah, he's done a really good job understanding how to roll into scoring opportunities. He can pop out and hit the 20-footer as well. And these are the big man skills that teams are looking for in the way the game is played today. And here are the Pelicans now following the score by Houston. Out of bounds, Pelicans ball as New Orleans keeps possession. All right, a chance to check out stats for Eric Gordon. 
And guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. They grab their own miss. You know, excellent quickness by Gordon, and you got to respect that, especially on defense where he's able to hound the offensive player. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Now, here's Porter. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. The score now all even. Really a smart look that time by Wood, giving the ball up to his wide open teammate. The Pelicans have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Pass to Hart. To the middle. Alan Junis, good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. He's not there. And, you know, we talk about how Wood has moved around the league. He also attended three different high schools. So he's been searching for direction for a long time. This is his first free throw of the game. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. And now Wood is laser focused, putting up all-star numbers over long stretches. And you look at where he started compared to where he is now. Wood may be one of the most improved players we've ever seen, especially if he continues to ascend from here. Hayes, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And he sinks the second. Well, playing for six teams in five years to start his career, Wood has certainly flipped the script. He now shows the ability to dominate over long stretches, much more consistent. Now here's Graham. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. What nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. Here's Gordon. The Pelicans make their last shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. And Gordon very physical with the defense. Solid at creating chances for himself to get to the line. This is his first trip of the line tonight. Eric Gordon, two shots. Take a break, take a break, two shots. That free throw missing. And Gordon just continues to prove why he's so valuable. I mean, he knows he's out there to shoot the ball, and he does it very well. And the second free throw, good. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Graham, the pass to Hayes. He kicks to Ingram over Gordon, and good. Got the friendly Brandon bounce off Ingram. the right side of the rim. Brandon Ingram, very confident in his mid-range, Jay. He knows he can shoot from just about anywhere and get his shot whenever he wants to. Now here's Porter. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Green, no luck. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. Four-point game. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was played down in Houston. And their last time playing this club, foul trouble became a big problem for them. The starters had to take an early stint on the bench. They've just got to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. Rob.
falls through. He's now made two of four. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now here's Gordon. Nine point game is last outing. And it goes down two points. Gordon's got five now. Even when Gordon is under pressure, he finds a way to score the ball. That's what he is. He is a determined and capable scorer. And it's Ingram missing. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. On the wing, Green. Defended by Hart. Green, no luck. And, guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Now here's Jones after Jalen Green's miss. Offline with the baseline jumper. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Quarter, no luck. Pelicans leading by four. Hart with it. Now Green defending. Three-pointer, Graham. Tate with the rebound. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. And here's Gordon from outside. New Orleans has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. It's stolen by Tate. And it's Gordon missing. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Back to Graham. Passes it to Hayes. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And Devon J. Graham, a player whose number one priority is scoring, but Clark, he can create, as we've seen, for others as well. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I think he's worked on that part of his game really hard. He's got great vision, sees the whole court, really good ball handling ability as well. And he makes a lot of plays with low turnovers. change here. Alexander Walker's checked in. Sixth in points off turnovers. Twelfth in three-point field goal percentage. And they're in the top half of the league in scoring as well. Not elite, but still, you have to respect them. You just mentioned their points off turnovers ranking. They've been playing pretty good pressure defense this season, and it's paid off for them. Pelicans leading by six. Now here's Graham. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. He gets it in there. That is a big-time play by Graham. Fighting through the contact. I tell you, he's not a very big guy, but he's stronger than he looks. Now here's Gordon. He's got five. It's tipped. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Drives to the hoop. Here's Graham. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Greg with Devontae Graham. You know he's going to shoot it. He has no hesitation letting it fly. I mean, he's a solid three-point shooter who believes he can make any shot. About two-thirds of his shots all come from outside, so you know exactly what you're getting with him. He's off on the first. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. So the Rockets end up going with a whole new group. And the Pelicans also making a change. Murphy's checked in. It's the second from the line. 
Devontae Graham was one of those rare four-year college players, and he had an incredible second season in the league. Averaged over 18 points and seven assists per game, proving he's an NBA caliber guard. Here's Shengun. Off target at the rim. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Here's Augustine. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. Another miss by Houston. Shoots from the baseline. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Graham's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Augustine passes to Christopher. They need this. He can't get that one. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Ingram dishes to Graham. Now Hayes. He had 22 points in the win against the Nuggets in Denver. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. And the rebound goes to Martin. Rockets trail by 13. Augustine up top. He's guarded by Murphy. Murphy against Augustine. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. And it was funny, the time road out, arena out. didn't bother them at all. I mean, they locked in, focused, and executed Houston. and got it done. Now a timeout called by Houston. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything going against you. Very frustrating. Joel has making some changes here. Garrett Temple has yeah, checked in for Brandon Ingram. And Sadoransky is subbed in for Devontae Green. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for the Rockets. Down by 15. He takes it in. Here's Shengu. That's in Augustine with the assist. Augustine, Augustine has run the pick and roll countless times. I mean, he's very comfortable threading the needle in these sets. Alexander Walker passes to Hayes. Now here's Sadoransky over Nuova. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Here's the pass to Shengu. No good that time. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Two minutes Sadoransky looking around. Two minutes. And that's a foul Houston called foul. on Kenyon Martin. That's, that's his, his first, first foul. foul. His shot Second was hindered by foul. that momentous mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Rockets on defense. It's a 13-point game. Hayes trying to break through. Martin with the block. Houston's gone a meager 1 of 6 from three point land since we got started tonight. Here's Nwaba. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And really, the defense fouling there to yeah, prevent the layup, but that's exactly that's what you need to do. Foul. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for New Orleans. Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. No good on the free throw.
Good on the second free throw. 135 left to play in the first quarter. Sadaransky the pass to Hayes. Now the dish to Murphy. Beyond the arc. Traps in the tray. Three. And the Pelicans lead by 15. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now, here's Nawaba. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Shengun, it's deflected. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Temple. Down low. The shot's good from Alexander Walker. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence, the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Here's Christopher. No points in the game yet for him. Wide open look. Sedaronski grabs the miss. Pelicans leading by 17. High arcing shot. Count it. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Now here is Augustine. Over Hayes. Augustine, no luck. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And here is Sadaransky. The layup off target. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans taking a 19-point lead into the break. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Now in his rookie season, Kevin Porter came off the bench. Now he's in Houston. He's a starter. And he analyzed the change in mentality. You know, coming off the bench, you kind of have a feel for the game already watching it. And um, starting, you're starting off. So I um, just got to start fast. And um, I got to come in ready to play from the, from the jump. And when Porter gets out to a hot start, Greg, he's shown he's capable of some big nights. And finding some success with the Rockets, Kevin. Now it's all about consistency and finding ways to win games. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a comfortable margin for the Pelicans here, guys. You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. We've got D.J. Augustine. Martin is out there with Matthews. And it's Christopher in at the shooting guard position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Shooting two. And that one misses. And teams often try to slow down point guards with bigger defenders. But, Greg, you locked up without that edge. How'd you do it? A uh, little athleticism, Kevin, and a lot of desire. He doesn't get the second one. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Rockets trail by 19. Pass to Shengu. Augustine with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. A nice, strong finish yeah, there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. That's his third Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. Down. I like that. These are his third and fourth free-throw attempts of the game. Kenyon Martin Jr., two shots. Take a break. Take a break. 
Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And he's good on the second. New Orleans leading by 18. Dishes it to Valanciunas. Passes to Murphy. Knocked away. To the left side wing. Six on the shot clock. Alexander Walker passes to Temple. And the Pelicans miss again. So it's the Rockets now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Now here is Augustine. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Puts it up from seven, and he hits the jump shot. Yeah, I like how crafty Augustine gets in the pick and roll. Outstanding at reading what's available and taking advantage of the defense's mistakes. Driving to the basket. Christopher, no good. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Houston Rockets are rebuilding. That's, That's a hard pivot for a team that, until first last season, now. was pursuing titles. Checking in for the party. new front office has been candid. It's presented challenges as they look to go young and stack up draft picks. They plan to make constant bets on unproven talent as they build toward the future. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Here's Alexander Walker. He had 10 points in the win against Denver. And even three on three break. Here's Matthews. Pelicans pull it in. Alan Junis has got rebound number five here tonight. Well, a lot of teams are going smaller these days, but big man Jonas Valanciunas still earning steady minutes year after year. Efficient scoring and a presence on the glass. He's able to punish teams inside if they want to play small ball. And there's the drive. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. Rockets trail by 16. Outside Matthews. Jones looking for an opening. Here's Valanciunas. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Back to Temple. Now the pass to Alvarado. Inside, here's Valanciunas. Drops in the layup for two. Valanciunas has got six points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley you, you, you got to love that one, A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. It actually almost makes it a little more special. Grace over power is how I would look at it. Pass to Alexander Walker. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got six rebounds now in the game. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Clark, between the trap and free agency and big midseason trades, it feels like we rarely see the same team twice season to season. Yeah, guys move around quite a bit, more so than in the past, Kevin. I don't necessarily know if that's uh, good or bad. It's certainly different. I tend to lean towards guys staying in the same place longer. That would be my personal preference, but the landscape has shifted and changed. Take a break. And, um, Take a break. It's overall probably a positive thing for the players.
First one falls for him. Green, he's checked in for Houston. Kevin Porter comes in for D.J. Augustine. Both good from the line that time. Pelicans leading by 16. To the inside. And Jones slams it in. Nice pass from a point guard. Graham there loves getting the ball over to his open teammates. Here is Porter. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Christopher. Here's Wood. Over Valanchunas. Another miss by Houston. New Orleans has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. To the paint. Hart, that's good. Hart's Hart. Hart. got seven. Assisted. And they're beginning Brandon to just Ingram. flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Houston. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed Ooh. from point blank range. Can't happen. Timeout called the Rockets. And this may not be the juiciest stat you'll ever get, but the development of Brandon Ingram as a free throw shooter early in his career was shocking. Your Clip City Tenders. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get loud for your Clip. It's making a change here. Gordon's checked in. And so it's Houston with it. Greg, as we take a look at Ingram's free throw shooting, he went from a mediocre performer at the line to almost automatic after a few years in the NBA. And, and Kevin, it's a testament to the work he's put in. It was an area of his game he had to develop, and he didn't ignore it. And now his aggression on the court pays off with points at the line. Now, here's Green. He dishes it to Gordon. Shoots over Ingram. And the basket by Gordon. He's got seven. And Gordon's so efficient as a scorer, especially from the mid-range where he's almost automatic. Graham against Porter. Graham kicks to Ingram. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Rockets. They trail by 18. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Excellent use of size there by Valanciunas. Reaching out and just swatting Josh that shot Hart. away. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Ingram against Gordon. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Valanciunas has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Boy, Hart is one of those guys you look at and you can just see the team is first with him. Never hesitates to find the open guy. Gordon against Ingram. And the basket by Gordon. Gordon's got four points now in the quarter. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's Ingram. A 23-point game for him in the win against Denver. Yeah, but he was also a force on the defensive side. Two block shots and also altered a ton of shots. Here's Tate. Lays it up off the glass. Hey, Tate's only got his first basket of the night. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And it's Graham missing. Rockets trail by 18 to the middle. Tate the pass to Wood. Porter in the corner. Six to shoot. 
Houston needs to get a shot off. 16 feet away. Wood can't hit. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Here's Ingram. It's rebounded by Houston. Wood's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And he converts the lane. Tate's only got his second button. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Bring him against Porter. Pass to Ingram. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep New the pressure Orleans on. Foul. Devontae Graham. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Rockets have had some good chances at the line, but only at gone 6 of 12 Rockets. from the strike. Kevin Porter Jr. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. Some changes for New Orleans. Jackson Hayes comes in for Valanciunas. And Sadoransky is subbed in for Jones. So he comes up empty at the line. New Orleans leading by 18. And there's the pass to Sadoransky. Graham with the ball. Now Hart. Nine points in the game so far. The shot by Shadaransky, no good. Here is Porter. There's the drive. And then Porter with the chance. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. The circus dunk for you right there, guys. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Now here's Graham. It's hauled in by Wood. And here's Gordon. Outside, Green. Pass to Wood. And here is Tate. It's over Ingram. Good. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got his fifth rebound in this one. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailer. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. They swipe it. Here's Graham. And foul He's on the shot. Five. He'll shoot two at That's the free throw line. Graham is 6'1", but he is fearless Second inside. Team. He's got a lot of sandpaper and grit at to his game. Pelican. Pelican shooting their third and fourth free the throw Pelican shots of the night. Yeah, looking over their Taking percentage the on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage this season. And he makes the first. And Graham drops them both. And it's Porter with the ball for the Rockets. It's an 18-point game. Kicks it to Green. Three-pointer. Tries again. Pass to Nwaba. Bobbed up there for Green. Great communication on the alley-oop. 
Oh, what a beautiful pass. And then to catch and finish all in one motion. Stupendous. An alley-oop like that, Greg, is so rare, you just got to take a second and enjoy it. And you know what, fellas? You've got to really, really admire somebody with the confidence to even try a pass like that. Hart, that's Josh, good. Hart. You know, getting inside and doing damage there really elevates Hart's game, and I like to see him be that kind of all-around threat. Porter kicks to green. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. Remains Houston ball. DJ Augustine's checked in for Porter. And the Pelicans also making a change. Murphy's checked in. And here are the Rockets now. They trail by 18. Ingram kicks to Murphy. From outside, off the mark. Rockets shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Now, here's Hart. He's got 11. Lock at six. The feed now to Hayes. It's deflected. Ingram against Green. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. 22 is their biggest lead. Hart, no good. Rockets trail by 18. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Green deciding where to go with it. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. Green's got five points in the quarter. Jalen Green. With one on the clock. And that one is off. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Jonas, you guys got off to a strong start. How important was it to set the tone early? You know, we came out with a different energy. He said it's enough to struggle from the start. You know, we got to focus and play good starts. That is where it all starts. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After the first two quarters of play, it's New Orleans in control. They lead by 15. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? Well, they killed it on the glass. And they did it with high-level fundamentals. Blocking out, maintaining position, and going up strong to the basket. If they board like that in the second half, this lead will continue to grow. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. I know teams love to rely on the three these days, but you got to know when to get away from them. They didn't. At least two out of the first half. Hopefully they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stubborn. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Pelicans leading by 15. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So for New Orleans right now, Brandon Ingram's out there with Jones. Then it's Josh Hart. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Graham in at the point guard. Hart, no good. Green against Ingram. 
Outside Green and a wide open look for Porter. And another three for Houston. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. And the first thing you notice about Green, the next level athleticism, incredible burst off the dribble and makes smooth adjustments midair. Now here's Ingram. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one goes on Wood. And one can only imagine what Green will be like great with a little time. Still refining the shot release. Still working on getting others involved. But we haven't seen a two-guard into the league with this much potential in quite some time. Shooting two. And that one falls for Ingram. You know, Ingram is quiet about the work he puts in after practice and before games. Uh, this is a guy who just never stops trying to improve, though, and that's shown up in how he's grown as a player. Both free throws, good for Ingram. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity, he's cashing in on those. Porter passes to Gordon. And some nice passing there by Houston. For the three, good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got three assists now in this one. The defense a step slow, you can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now here's Ingram. 12 points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. Can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Graham, the pass to Valanciunas. Graham against Gordon. Here's Ingram. Valanciunas trying to free himself up. And it's Ingram missing. Starting slow in this half. 0 for 3 so far. The kick out to Porter. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got six rebounds in the game. Going inside. Tate with the rebound. Rockets trail by 11. There's the dish to Porter. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. And finished off by Porter. That should give them a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt here. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. Now here's Ingram checking some stats on him right now. He's averaging just around 22 and a half points a game. Here's Valanciunas. No good on that one. And it's Houston the other way. It was an ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. And it's Gordon penetrating. The shot, no good. New Orleans leading by nine. Graham, the pass to Ingram. Poked away. It's stolen by Green. Gordon with it. He's got 12. Driving inside. And then Gordon with the dunk. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that. And now we've got ourselves a ball game. Now here's Ingram. 12 points for him. And they pick up two. Ingram. Ingram's got 14. Making it look so easy right now. Once Ingram catches fire like this, he finds ways to stay hot. Porter passes to Wood. At the top of the key, Gordon. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Ingram. That's his first personal foul. 
first team foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Pelicans. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. Another thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint for plenty of those close-range points. you got to have those. That free throw, no good. on the second free throw. Here's Alexander Walker. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Late contact. Straightforward call. Simple. For New Orleans, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Two shots. And the first one drops. Matthews, he's checked in for Houston. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Here's Christopher. Ball's not loose. And he drives in. Here's Temple. Here's Porter. And finished off by Porter. That should give him a nice little jump. Yeah, it has to. They need the Joe GM. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. Tosses it to Matthews. Here's Christopher. Takes it inside. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. An outstanding defensive play to earn the Mobile One block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Here's Alexander Walker. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Alexander Walker's got seven points in the game. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Alvarado, guarded by Porter, lets the three fly. It's rebounded by Houston. Woods got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Down low. Here's Tate. And it's off the back rim. No good. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Valanciunas, good. Valanciunas. With his strength, it isn't easy to upset Valanciunas with a little contact. You're going to have to get a lot more physical than that. Here's Christopher. He kicks it to Porter. To the inside. Good. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Valanciunas. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. He's made one and this one so far in the game. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Guys, he is close to where he was last year in that category, but uh, his numbers are still down just a skosh.
No good on that one. And the Pelicans making a change here. Murphy's checked in. And he can't hit the second. Pelicans leading by nine. Here's Temple. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. Augustine looking around. Here's Christopher. It's good. Christopher's got a second bucket tonight. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. The pass to Alexander Walker. New Orleans moving the ball around. Knocked loose. Here's Christopher. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Christopher's got six in the quarter. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Pass to Alexander Walker. Matthews against Valanciunas. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now, here's Matthews. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. It's up a three. Rebound by Alexander Walker. New Orleans leading by nine. Dishes it to Valanciunas. They double him with Matthews. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And the Pelicans with possession here. Shot clock at six. Here's Alexander Walker. Goes back up. That shot missing. So Houston will take it the other way. Matthews scanning the floor. With the floater, he takes it up and lays it in. Matthews has got his first basket. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Kicks it to Temple. Here's Alexander Walker. Seven points in the game. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And how about the awareness from Valanciunas? He read the pick-and-roll coverage there. Beautiful. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. New Orleans ball. For the Rockets. Martin checked, checked in, in for Christian Pelicans. Wood. And David Nwaba subbed in for Matthews. Here's Alexander Walker. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Martin. Here's the break. It's good, and the New Orleans Lewis got to just seven on the basket from Nwaba. All right, he's got to quit while he's ahead. He, he got away with it there, but the crossover usually gets him into a bit of trouble. Murphy dishes to Temple. Pass to Sadoransky. Now, here is Murphy. Five to shoot. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two. Here's Temple, and the rebound goes to Martin. Martin's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Augustine up top. Passes it to Shengu. Tipped away. 
Augustine passes to Shengu. Here's Christopher, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. New Orleans ball. The Rockets making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Pelicans leading by seven. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Ingram against Gordon. The pass to Alexander Walker. Six to shoot. Poke loose. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Ingram. And there's Martin. That's good on the assist by Eric Gordon. Yeah, it's been about the fast break. Been real kind to him here early. And they are clicking in transition. Sadoransky finds Ingram. And here we go. Houston running again. Shengun passes to Augustine. Outside Gordon. And some nice passing there by Houston. Pass to Augustine. Shot clock at five. No good on the three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And it's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. Green, he's checked in for David Mwaba. Josh Hart, he's checked in for New Orleans. Devontae Graham comes in for Alexander Walker. Twenty seconds left in the third. Here's Ingram shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal aggressive move that time by Ingram, putting up the shot while absorbing the foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Splashed them one after another. It really was quite a display from the strike. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. That free throw, no good. He sinks the second. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Gordon. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Ingram's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Out on the perimeter, Green and Gordon. Then there's D.J. Augustine. And it's Shengun in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the five for Houston right now. Green, no luck. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component 
of winning games. It's not a glamorous stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. And that one drops. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. Rockets trail by eight. Now Augustine, outside Gordon. They kick it out to Green. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Now, here's Hart. Tight defense on him. Graham finds Ingram. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Graham's got his sixth assist on the night. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Gordon against Ingram. Right side, Gordon. Pass to Shengu. Here's Green. Just five on the clock. And there is a whistle, and that's going to go on Jackson, Jackson Hayes. Hayes. That's his first that's foul. His first Tate, foul. he's checked in for first Houston. Team and a change for the Pelicans. Pelicans Jones checked in for Sadoransky. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Here's Tate. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Hart's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And Hayes kicks to Ingram. Banked in off the glass. And now it's a 12-point Pelican lead. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Gordon deciding where to go with it. It's Tate, top of the key. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Rockets making a switch here. Porter's checked in. Second team foul. Now, in the lineup for your Rockets, Kevin Porter Jr. Ingram against Gordon. He dishes it to Green. Rocket six. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now, here's Porter. Brandon Ingram missing his last shot. And finished off by Martin. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. You can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. And so here is Houston. Brandon Ingram missing his last shot. Gordon. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Gordon with surgeon-like precision scoring the ball. Man, I love watching this guy work. Graham kicks to Ingram. Hart with it, working on Green. Ingram outside. Ingram can't get that one to fall. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Outside, Porter. Houston moving the ball around. Outside, Green. Gordon, the pass to Porter. Fires the three. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. Ingram's got eight rebounds in this game. He was all alone on that one. And the Pelicans lead by 11. And, you know, these are shots you want Graham taking. Helps get him going. And Jones sends it back. Graham against Porter. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Martin. Porter looking it over. Outside, Green. Big 
Looking to get back on track here. That one wide left. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Now here's Gordon. They kick it out to Green. A three ball. Pelicans pull it in. Hart's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Porter against Graham. Passes it to Hayes. Back to Graham. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Oh, great ball movement there. And it's Porter with the ball for the Rockets. 15-point game. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. for Kenyon Martin. And New Orleans also making a change. Balanchunas has checked in. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, guys, here's Steven Silas's message for his team during the last break. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? Thank you, David. Jones dishes to Graham. Back to Jones. Tate with the rebound. Rockets trail by 15. The dish to Gordon. Into the lane. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Brandon Ingram. It goes on That's Brandon Ingram. Yeah, foul. you know, Gordon feeds off being third the aggressor. He wants foul. to be in attack mode and really make it tough for the Marcus. defender to dictate third what he's going to do. At the line for two. Free throw good from Eric Gordon. He hits both from the strike. New Orleans leading by 13. Ingram outside. Back to Graham. Alan Tunis against Wood. And the foul on Jay Sean Tate. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here's Hart, guarded by Green. Hart, the pass to Jones. Just five to shoot. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. 
Graham with the bucket. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Gordon against Ingram. And the pass to Green. And here's Porter. Drains it from beyond the arc. You know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Now here's Ingram. New Orleans moving it around. The three. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Four, three. Graham's got assist number eight now on the night. Green passes to Gordon. Outside, Porter. Launches it. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Here's Hart. Valanciunas trying to free himself up. Hart, that's good. And the Pelicans lead by 17. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Now here's Graham. That shot misses. The Rockets go the other way with it. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And it's Gordon missing. And Ingram has got the ball here for New Orleans. And here is Graham. Pass to Dallin Tunis. Now here's Ingram. Over Gordon. And it's Ingram missing. Rockets trail by 17. The drive by Green lays it up and banks it in. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Pass to Valanciunas. The fadeaway. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Back to Gordon. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Inside, Gordon is at a disadvantage, but he's tough and he's physical. I mean, he's able to play through contact on that shot. For Houston, Eric Gordon, two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. Gordon hits both of them. New Orleans leading by 13. Ingram with it. It's rebounded by Houston. Gordon's got rebound number five here tonight. Green with the ball. Now Valanciunas defending. Green kicks to Gordon. The Rockets again can't hit. New Orleans gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Here's Jones. And that one Houston. clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and Jay two shots Green. coming up. That's on Jalen Green. First I'll tell you what, he earned his money Second on that foul. foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you At don't give a chance for the and one. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Yes, yes, yes. 
And so Jones nails both of them. Rockets trail by 15. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Porter finds Gordon. No good with the triple. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Now Green after Eric Gordon's three-pointer that didn't go. Wood passes to Green. Pelicans pull it in. 22 is their biggest lead. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Pelicans. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this was a great team effort by everyone. And I think a great job in positioning themselves for the W here. It's win number 21 on the season. And after losing the first of this four-game series, they've gotten their revenge here tonight, guys. Evening things up, one apiece, with two left to play against Houston. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Graham dishes to Valanciunas. He doesn't hit that one. Jones against Porter. Here he goes. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second personal foul. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. At the line for Houston, Kevin Porter Jr. At the line for two. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Sodoronsky. So we see the Pelicans taking the W here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good, you know, uh, there is a better game, there is a worse game, but, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game, I'm fighting, and uh, my job is take rebounds, set of screens, I'm doing that job. It's grunt work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.